there's a nationwide push to serve up more lionfish to get that invasive species out of our waters. Gail Guardo did some eight on your side digging and found out there's a big local push to catch these fish that have made our warm Gulf waters home. Now this is the lionfish right here. The lionfish likes to eat a lot. In fact, they're ruining our ecosystem. But now there's an effort to turn the tables on the fish so we can eat them. Chef Aaron is serving up lionfish at the Rumfish Grill on St. Pete Beach. They're easy and safe to clean and light and flaky to eat. I would say it'd be a cross between a flounder and like a mangrove snapper. So expect to find more lionfish being served up at Bay Area restaurants and fish markets because it's a way to stop them from eating our native fish. Lionfish can eat a lot. Uh, they can swallow very large things, uh, sometimes animals up to half of their body length. So the hunt is on. This is video taken during what's become the world's largest lionfish roundup, miles off St. Pete Beach. Divers and fishermen join in on the Guy Harvey Lionfish Safari. So you can enjoy this fish served fresh in Tampa Bay. Oh, that's good. Gail Guayardo, News Channel 8. I don't think I've had lionfish. Well, if you're a diver or angler and you want to join in on the next lionfish round, Gail's put the information you need to know on WFLA.com so you can join the hunt. But right now, Gail and Chef Aaron are going to share a special lionfish recipe. Chef Aaron and I are going to be making the same kind of meal that you would get at Rumfish Grill right on St. Pete Beach. It's absolutely delicious, and you make it easy to cook at home. It is very easy. It's very much like a snapper and a tiny bit of flounder mixed in. We're doing this with a jerk. This is a West Indies pesto, if you will. If you don't have all that, can you just do like your favorite jerk seasoning at home? You, absolutely. Right, so you're heating up the oil. Yep. You get it to a nice hot temperature. Yep. And then what we're going to do before we put this, the lionfish in, we're just going to take a little bit of oil in a saute pan. So this is like a cooking hat. You put a little oil on another pan. Yep. And you keep that fish right down in there. Yep. Because we want the fish to be nice and flat. And just let it cook for how long? I'd say two three minutes aside. Okay. And in the beginning, I like to get it nice and hot and then turn the heat down a little bit because you want it to caramelize, but you don't want to burn. So we're just right. going to flip this guy. You're plating this just like you would do it at the restaurant. Yeah. This is our rum butter. This is going to go around the outside. This is a uh, coconut rice. And these are just good old fashioned red beans. These red beans, poblanos, onions, a tiny bit of cumin, garlic, chicken stock. All right, so now it's time for the big taste test. And let's see, I'll grab a little from the side here. Uh-oh, look who's coming. Uh -oh. Oh, I, I coming. smell something from the studio next door. What's going on here? I think mm, I'm going to try. It's the lionfish. It's not poisonous, right? N no. That's okay. the message we're trying mm. to get out. Good stuff. I got, really, I can smell it next door. Crazy. Good stuff. Chef, thank you so much. Thank Are you, you going to come back and cook for us? Sure, anytime. All right. Well, I'm going to put the recipe for you online. I'm going to give you more information about uh, lionfish, and I'm going to tell you about a big lionfish safari where you can go out and catch these guys.